Hello, my name's Caden on Jaguar and More, and today I have got the first part of a massive LEGO Legends of Chima haul. Now, first of all, I do want to apologise for this setup. The audio is not as good as I would like it to be. The lighting isn't great. Um, because the, the boxes here are so big, I've had to go to a different area to record. I'm actually at a different house. Um, so I've, I've not really uh, personalised this recording setup. So it's very makeshift. But it doesn't matter. I have three things here that we're going to open in this video. I cannot wait. Um, in here, we have Legends of Chima minifigs. Uh, I just moved them out of the way like that. And then I just dropped my light. Like I said, I'm not fully used to using this studio. Um, but in here, I have a, a large storage head of a silly little face, um, which is where I am going to uh, go, go into store all my Chima minifigs. So with the reveal that Lord Raz is from Chima and Chima is the wildness, I have been absolutely um, uh, fascinated by Legends of Chima. Um, I've I've really wanted uh, Chima minifigs. I wanted to learn more about Chima and stuff. So I have kind of set off on a little bit of a quest to get every Chima minifig. And this is the storage head I am going to use to keep them all. So there's about 160 Chima minifigs. This head is pretty big. Uh, we can see the inside of it here. I mean, yeah, I assume we should be able to fit, um, I guess, probably about 200 minifigs in there. Um, I mean, I'm not going to do a review on this because you all know how they work, but this is awesome. I can't wait to uh, put my, my full Chima collection in here. But for now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open this. Actually, no, we'll open the small one first. Uh, we'll open this one. This one is from um, Bricklink and this one is from eBay. Okay, I'm in such an uncomfortable position right now. The chair I was sat on was too high up, so I'm sat on a stool, uh, like a stool that you stand on for kids. Um, yeah, it is not the most comfortable, and I also probably look really stupid. But whatever, we're just going to open these minifigs. So these are from Bricklink. Um, I know what's in here, of course. I mean, I know what's in both of them. Um, I ordered these because there was one specific figure that I wanted, um, so I got it, and then I got the rest of the Chima figs they had listed, just for the sake of it. So here they all are. I don't know the names of the figures, I can't lie. Um, I think this, the, one of these might be Rascal. Um, well, I think these two are actually the same character, but, um, just different armour, so that is, uh, I mean, that's, like, whatever, I guess. Uh, this is, like, Leonidas or Le Lon I don't know, I don't know their names. Um, they're just Shima people. I think this is Windsor, maybe. This is Krog, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no idea who this is, this, uh, white gorilla. Really cool figure, though. Um, but this is the main figure I wanted. This is Lagravis, um, a.k.a. Laval's dad. And I've not really seen the Chima show, but as far as I kind of understand, I'm pretty sure this guy is, like, the leader of Chima, maybe? I don't know. But I mainly wanted this figure so I could kind of be, like, um, I could do, like, a post or whatever on my Instagram of every single realm leader. So we'd have, you know, the Ice Emperor... The Gravis, um, Iron Baron, the Master Writer, everyone from all the different realms. Um, and yeah, I, I thought this guy was the ruler of Chima. And also the figure is just cool. I really like the look of it. Um, we can see, there you go, yeah. Uh, I really, really like the look of this figure, so I just had to get it. But these were, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. The seven minifigs were £16. <clears throat> But I also ordered a lot of other stuff with them. Uh, I ordered a, you know, like a Jade Blade piece. I ordered four Ninjago figures. So I got everything for £16. So I'm not sure exactly how much these were. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with them. So I'll put these minifigs back in here. And then we will take a look at the big box. Now, I, I'm going to be honest. Literally, I saw this box. It was listed on eBay. I saw it. I submitted an offer, the seller accepted <clears throat> within about five minutes of me submitting the offer. I didn't even look at the pictures really, I just saw that there were 36 Chima figures here, um, so I, I just had to. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I'll reveal how much I paid for it after we go through it all, um, and then you know may, may, maybe take a guess at how many Chima figures you think um, 
uh, not how many Chima figures, how much you think I paid for these 36 Chima figures. Uh, but yeah, let's. Uh, I'm going to go get some scissors and we can open this. Okay, so I've cut the box open. However, it is filled with packing peanuts. So I guess I might just have to kind of pour them all out onto the table. Oh no, I don't want to do this. They're going to go absolutely everywhere. Okay, let's just, yeah, let's just bring them all down. Uh, oh God. Oh, that's cool. They're in a little storage bit. Can you see that? Uh, I don't know if you can fully see that, but they're in a uh, a storage brick. I didn't even know that would be uh, that would be coming. Okay, well I got a free storage brick out of this. Wow, how many packing peanuts did this guy need to include? Um, okay, I'm gonna take this out of the bubble wrap because the noise is absolutely horrible, and I don't want to have to do that on camera. Uh, I'm gonna take out the bubble wrap and then we'll take a look at what we've got. Oh, I also see um, a gin blade. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's just take it out of the bubble wrap and we'll go from there. I just want to clarify, by the way, I was only joking about there being too many packaging peanuts. Um, I mean, yeah, I would rather it be too protected than not protected enough and the stuff gets damaged. But here's what we've got. So I guess the uh, the figures are in here. You can see my light there. Um, it's a little bit scratched up and stuff, but I had no idea I was paying for this. So uh, I'm not going to complain about that being in uh, a bit dinged up condition at all. And I will definitely be using it. And uh, it also comes with this a bag filled with different chima weapons uh wings for the birds we got some armor chi uh, some staffs uh is that a word staffs i don't know uh, we have a gin blade piece there i don't know if that oh it's no yeah that is zane's uh gin blade there so loads and loads of stuff in here loads of stuff in here uh i mean let's let's open it up and see what's inside shall we I'm, I'm really excited. I've not fully looked at the minifigs in here yet. So, uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That, that was kind of scary. I can't even lie. The uh, packaging peanuts just sprung up out of there. Uh, so let me just pick them out. But you can see all the Chima minifigs. I'm so excited. Uh, there's also a bubble wrap in here. Uh, I just washed my hands because the bubble wrap is sticky for some reason. Uh, not not any like weird reason. It's just because um, it's like sticky bubble wrap. But um, I guess if I try and... There we go. That works, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to scoop all of these off the table. Then we'll take a look at the mini figs. So I guess I can just dump them out onto the table. Oh, wow, I'm so, so hyped for this. Um, there are so many Chima minifigs here. I am going to embarrass myself because I do not know any of their names. Literally, I, I, I probably know about four or five Chima minifig names. Um, so it's it's if you're a Chima uh, diehard, then you are probably going to be really annoyed. This figure, I think I do know, is Skinnit. Uh, he was in the Ninjago crossover, I'm pretty sure. That is weird how his tail piece is attached via his neck. That is really weird. But anyway, um, so there's there's Skin It. That is a figure that I did want. Um, we've got this uh, elephant guy. Uh, I, th I think it might be a cool idea to maybe try and divide them up by their tribes. So there's two elephant guys. Uh, I think that's all of them. Um, we'll do crocodiles. I, I am going to do my research, by the way. After this video... <coughs> I am going to go on to um, Bricklink, or Brickset, sorry, and just try and learn all of these Chima names, try and figure out who's who, try and figure out which figures I have. Uh, any mismatched figures I will try and put together. We have four uh, crocodiles, like I said, don't know their names. Um, here, it looks like we have a Laval and a another um, Lagravis. <coughs> But it looks like the torsos are switched around. So uh, I'll... Oh, and maybe the legs as well. Wait, no. No, yeah, the legs and the heads. Okay, okay, okay. So I think if we just swap the torsos around, um, they will be uh, fully complete. Do we have... Wait, let me just stand this Laval up. Oh, that's not even Laval, is it? No, that is the... Uh, that's a, not Laval's head colour, so I don't even think that's Laval. Um, any more lions? I don't think there are. I think it's just uh, Lagravis and that other guy. Uh, so we'll move them to the side. Uh, we'll do the people with the wings next. So we have this kind of 
uh, like fiery phoenix kind of bird. Uh, we've got this. Actually, no, I think that's a different tribe. Um, I mean, yeah, like I said, I don't have any idea about uh, Chima lore and stuff. We have these bears. One of them might be Rogon. I know that is a Chima character. Uh, we have some people with the Fire Chi versions. We have a, Chi, a Fire Chi Rogon. I think that would be a Fire Chi um, Windsor, maybe, if it had the correct headpiece. Like I said, please don't get mad at me for not knowing uh, Chima stuff. I have no idea. I think that's right. Um, Fire Chi Gorzan, if we just uh, straighten that out there. There were Fire Chi Gorzan. Uh, I mean, I'm not even going to try and, and attempt their name because I have no idea. Uh, so we have some Fire Chi figures there. Um, and then the rest... Oh, we have this, which is kind of like a rhino figure with pink markings. That's kind of cool. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I guess we'll do the ice figures now. We have this ice guy. Uh, this kind of polar bear guy. Uh, this winged ice guy. This wolf ice guy. I think these are the, the, the villains, if I know correctly. Uh, which, I mean, I probably don't. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are the villains. So we have all of these. And we have even more. We have uh, this guy. We've got this guy. And I'm sorry. I know how annoying it must be. Just me calling them this guy and this guy. But I have no idea who these people are. This guy looks really cool. Um, I'm guessing he might be like the ice people's leader, possibly. Uh, we have this polar bear here. We have a lot of ice people. And this guy, who I think might have the wrong torso. Uh, oh, no, actually, I think it's all correct. Uh, it's just he's got the wrong mask on. Uh, that is one of the bird people, I think. Uh, so they are all very cool. Uh, oh, we have another lion guy here, who I must have missed earlier. Um, we have this guy, who looks really cool. I don't know who he is, but he looks awesome. Uh, this, oh, this is a, a female uh, don't know what tribe they belong to. We have a uh, another bird here. I think these guys might be evil. I'm not sure. They look evil. Um, and then this... Uh, oh, this is a girl, I think, with the lipstick. Whoever they are, they look absolutely awesome. If I try and shine the light on that a bit better... They look really cool. I like this figure. Um, but yeah, there are all the figures I got in this haul. Now, let's take a look at the the weapons bag, I guess. So, if anyone is uh, kind of up to date on their Chima knowledge, uh, definitely please let me know in the comments if there's anything that I need to know. Uh, anything that I got blatantly wrong. Please, please, please do correct me. Um, I am trying to learn more about Chima. So anyone correcting me, anyone letting me know in the comments what I've got wrong, uh, it is genuinely really, really appreciated. So, um, I mean, yeah, how, how do we even begin to sort through this? I guess we'll do the armor pieces first. So we'll go through the gold armor. I think this is light armor. Uh, it's not focusing, is it? Uh, I think that is light armor. I think that is heavy armor. And then I don't know what that is. Uh, I've never seen that before. But uh, we have a ton of this uh, gold armor. Uh, we can see it all there. Move them to the side. We have a lot of chi, um, which is great because uh, previously I only had uh, a couple of pieces of chi. Um, so now I guess my chi collection is uh, never going to be low in in stock wow i got a lot of chi here okay i don't even know what chi like, i know it's like you know i've watched the first two episodes of chima um i never have like the the coming of age ceremony and all that stuff um but i don't know like the origins of chi uh i mean this looks like a weapon a pretty deadly weapon uh what else what else like i said we have zane's uh gin blade don't know if i'm going to get any use out of that but it is cool to get that little printed piece of zane's face um, some ice armor. These look cool. Whoa, I like the look of these. Uh, we only got two of the ice armor, unfortunately. We got this silver armor, and we got this heavy silver armor. That is pretty cool. Uh, what's this? I think, does that go on the end of a weapon like that? Oh, yeah, that's another one. Okay, 
So this is some kind of weapon, and so is this. Like I said, I am going to try and rebuild all of these uh, correctly afterwards. Um, we have this shoulder armor piece, which is the same piece that the Overlord uses. Do you know the really expensive Overlord minifig? Uh, the, the Golden Master from Rebooted. This is the same armor piece, but in silver, whereas the Golden Master one is, of course, gold. Um, we have some wings here. So, uh, yeah, they would just go on like that. I'm not sure who they belong to. That was so loud. Did that pick up as loud on the camera? That was... Uh, okay, I don't know where it is. It's rolled off somewhere. I'll find that in a minute. But that was like a, a power kind of energy ball sort of thing. Um, we have a bit of a standard weapon here. Uh, let's see what else. We have this, just a regular weapon. Uh, I mean, just a lot of loose bits and bobs, really. But they will always come in handy. These uh, Gorilla Fists, I know they originate from Chima. Uh, this cool fire piece, which I've never seen before. This hammer looks really cool. Uh, some black wings with some black clips as well. So I'm guessing they go on one of the uh, black uh, bird figures. No idea what this is, just some kind of weapon. Uh, some more just ran random clip pieces. Not sure what they uh, are used to make. A fire emblem piece, that's pretty cool. Uh, an ice shield, just a regular accessory, I'm pretty sure. Uh, whatever this is, um, it's like a droid body with a translucent red axe. Some golden scythes, a silver scythe, a unicorn horn, and a master Wu staff. That was a lot of stuff. So for all that stuff, I'll tell you what, I'll get it all on the screen now. Oh, also, also, I'll get the thing that I dropped on the floor. Okay, it was just this. I have no idea what this is. It looks like one of those things where, like, you'd put it in, like, a clamp and then fire it out like that. Um, you know, they've been in some, like, Ninjago sets and stuff. But, yeah, let's get all the figures and all the accessories, and then you can uh, take your guesses as to how much you think I paid. So, for everything you can see on your screen right now, I paid... 65 pounds which to be honest i am pretty happy with 65 pounds for this which i didn't even know i was getting 36 minifigs which is less than two pound per minifig which can never be a bad deal um all these extra armor pieces and stuff which i assume uh, go on figures here so i'm gonna have to sort through them all these chi pieces like i said this red box 65 pound i am very very happy with this um but yeah there is the first part of my mega chima haul in the next video i have a, another chima haul coming that will probably uh probably be tomorrow um or maybe the day after but i'm hoping to get it out tomorrow um, that is going to be another Chima haul where I got some sets this time as well as a ton of minifigs. Uh, really, really can't wait for that. It's going to be so, so fun. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.